Good morning and happy new year. First of all, what was that? That was my Robin Williams Good Morning Vietnam. You probably don't even know that, dude. You... That's actually one of the greatest films ever. Yeah. I love that movie. I actually liken myself to a Robin Williams. Um, Robin Williams is easily top five for me. As he's a as genius. Actors. Yeah, he's amazing. I'm not as talented by, as him by any means, but uh, I think our, our souls are similar. Yeah. Did, did you watch the documentary? No, I, oh, I can't. I cried. No, it was, it was I'll terrible. jump off a bridge. Yeah. It's... It was terrible. No, I can't. I literally can't. I, I'm like joking because we're live on camera, but I can't. Yeah, it was so sad. Yeah, I can't do all that. Oh, zoomed in. But you did, that was good, right? Good morning, Vietnam! Good morning! Why do you have to add like the yeah, yeah. Oh, now you're mocking my voice. A little bit. Hey, it's uh, Dead Store That's what I would have done. I would have gone. You probably would be What's missing. Up? Yes, your fingers out. You would have been. You would have been finger guy on YouTube. I like the. Hey, uh, like and subscribe for the video. It's me, Daniel Stordiolo. Let me teach you how to make a homemade ravioli. Whoa, I want your blood. I want your blood so thick it taste and look like marinara. Okay, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're talking about tips and tricks to get fit in the new year. Last video we talked a little bit about kind of the psychological aspect. I know my brain kind of jumps around. I'm not the look at a script and read you guys one through five, but talking about um, adherence, the psychology, the small things. We all know we need to lift heavy. We all know we need to watch what we eat. We all know squat bench dead are our best way to get strong and build a physique. Uh, but what are the little things that get you going, that keep you going in the gym in 2021 if you do want to support please leave a comment let me know your favorite robin williams movie that's a good one huh patch adams who miss doubtfire who genie who aladdin sucks besides robin williams aladdin's trash you all you disney lovers um so for me even right i took a year off I, I guess I didn't even like saying I took a year off because that makes me think like, or you guys think that I decided to stop working out, but I didn't. I just couldn't work out for a year, um, mentally, physically, etc. So to get back into it here, um, going back to the nutrition, I was like, all right, I don't want to track my food. I got 20 pounds extra I want to lose. I want to put on probably 10 or 20 pounds of muscle um, because that year was a little rough on the body and mind. Um, but I don't want to track my food. It's going to overwhelm my mind and not make this fun. Okay, I don't wanna do sets and reps cause that's gonna overcomplicate it for me. Okay, so where do I start? I do wanna get stronger, I wanna build muscle. Progress is what drives me personally, so I'm gonna squat bench dead. And then I set a frequency and amount of days that I told myself I'd train minimum. So minimum, I gave myself two. Maximum, I'd like to hit four, but I, I took my mental health into account if, it, if I just can't do it. And it's not like, man, I don't wanna work out today, I'm not gonna work out. It's not that, but like I literally just feel so drained I can't, I'll take the day off, not a big deal get back in the next day. Now, a lot of that comes from self-awareness and training since I was 14 years old for basketball and lifting. I just know what those days are like and what um, the pros versus cons is if I show up to the gym or if I don't. Some of you may not know that. Maybe you didn't play uh, sports growing up. Maybe you didn't play sports at a high level. Uh, maybe you never took something that seriously on a physical note, um, and that's totally fine. That's all part of the process. So for you, set your days and try to show up. So that's number one, is set your days of how many days a week you wanna move and how active you can be. Number two, I suggest it doesn't have to be lifting. Again, what drives me is the progress of getting stronger, building more muscle, um, and hitting some all-time PRs before uh, old Mikey puts up his lifting belt. So I got a couple more years in me, I'm 32, I'm young, I'm sprightly, everyone's like, you're just 32, you can do whatever you want, you're in your prime. I am in some ways, but I've also, Besides this last year, I've gone 365 days a year trying to get better at basketball and lift maximum loads for like 20 years. <laughs> Since I was a young, 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 young lad. So it's not like my body hasn't been through it. It's a little different if you start powerlifting at 20 and then you're hitting your stride at 30. Um, my story is just a little bit different. That's all, we each have our own journey. Number two, choosing the activity that you enjoy. I don't care what it is. I know this channel is based on strength and conditioning, the barbell, getting stronger, getting faster, becoming a better athlete, some weightlifting sprinkled in, some nutrition. If you wanna do yoga and walk, 
do yoga and walk. If that helps your mind, helps your body, go do yoga and walk. Again, we set our frequency of how many times a week we think we would enjoy it and commit for the long term. And don't say, I'm going hard. I'm going seven days a week, two times a day. Because then come February, you're going to be back on this channel, eating Ben and Jerry's, crying to yourself, saying, man, I really wish I would have commented the best Robin Williams movie and listened to Mike's advice. I'd be way better off. And it's only four weeks in. 2021 sucks. Like all you other dumb bitches blaming a number on a calendar year why your year sucks. You are or why your year sucks. So frequency, three to four for me. It may be two for you, it may be one. It may be I can only get myself to really jam once a week. That's fine, as long as it's consistent. Write it down, put it in your memory book, text your best friend, text your mom, tell your dog, tell Toto, hey Toto, I'm doing yoga once a week and your little bitch ass better not shit in the house. I don't care, tell him. Um, and again, the activity doesn't matter. I don't care, play basketball, play football, yoga, Pilates, boxing class, lifting weights, whatever. I think um, choosing a goal can help all this, but even choosing a goal for so many um, can be daunting. I was talking to my buddy Kyle yesterday about it. I don't do good with really long-term goals because my life changes so much and my mind changes so much and I, and I try to accomplish so much. It doesn't work that way. Now, short-term goals, that's what we're doing here. I'm secretly backdooring your ass. Setting the frequency, setting what we're doing will set us up for short-term goals. So within those, it would be the third is setting an actual short-term goal. Hi guys. You've ruined, this video. You've ruined uh, 10 minutes of it. Oh, I needed that. Let's weigh a plate. Let's weigh a plate. So it uh -uh. goes up to 440, so. <laughs> so if you can't use it, then, then we need an intervention. Nice. Nice. I said if you can. I didn't say you cannot. I said if you cannot. I'm saying just don't jump on it. You know, step on it. Step two is, or sorry, step three is setting the goals. So um, for me, it's to get that 600 pound squat. Uh, it's a little bit medium term, you know, and I guess we can define that however you want. Typically people do like a year to five year. Some people do months and then the day, which again is that frequency thing. Some people write notes, whatever it might help them get that day done. I'm not an organized guy. My brain doesn't work that way. My life doesn't work that way. I'm so anxious, things are in my head. If uh, I say I'm gonna do it or if it's in my brain, I just do it. I don't need to make lists like, to-do lists or organize. But if that's you, again, we need to learn to be a little self-aware, look inside, write that down, I don't care. Shout out to my homie Simon. Simon told me, uh, man, I've been so productive lately, I started writing lists every morning. I was like, bro, I absolutely hate that. That gives me more anxiety, and makes me less productive. But if that's what helps you jam out, jam out with that. Same goes with the long-term, medium-term, short-term goals. So, short-term goal for me, uh, I got myself six months from when I started lifting, which was probably about October to um, not mess around with my, my food, but be a little bit more casual with my food, focus on building the muscle and strength back, squat 600 by this summer, um, and then when that six month mark comes, I'm gonna dial in the nutrition a little bit better. I already dialed it in right now, I made a new goal along the way that's uh, more financially driven than necessarily fitness driven, uh, but I decided to stop eating out or ordering out food. Um, so I'm gonna either gonna cook more, I'm gonna maybe get a meal prep service, I'm maybe going to do more snacks or things around the house uh, that's more consistent, but I'm not gonna use my DoorDash, I'm addicted to that little thing, and it's just so convenient. Uh, I make not the best choices, Food doesn't fill me up, not as nutritious, uh, and it's literally the one thing I like splurge on financially. So I'm gonna cut that back and try to uh, line up my financial year in 2021 also. So those are my goals. Again, comment below your Robin Williams movie. Let me know some of your goals, and we can talk more goals going down, but sh just set your frequency for my team. Set what activity you want to do physically, mentally. It could be meditation tied in there too. Set that up. I'm gonna meditate three days a week, and I'm gonna do deadlifts three days a week. I really don't care what it is. It doesn't have to be complex. Um, we can dive those things in more because as soon as you overcomplicate things, sometimes you overthink and the paralysis by analysis or you just set yourself up for failure. Too much restriction doesn't mean or equal success. Oftentimes people start too restrictive and just can't add here. Again, long term is gonna be this. If you deadlift 135 every single day for 10 years, you're gonna be better off than having one week of a crazy deadlift session and this fancy program and reverse bands and all this dog shit, right? So we need consistency, we need adherence, uh, and then we'll slowly ramp things up. I like to build these mini goals, set the routine, set the discipline so it becomes second nature, and then from there I can start adding more to my plate. Uh, if your plate gets too full, obviously it breaks and we can't carry that thing. Appreciate you guys. Happy New Year. Excited to continue the content. We are consistent now, man. Monday and Wednesday. Podcast uh, coming soon. 3sb.co for all your apparel and gym information. I'm Silent Mike, I'm going to go live with the boys. So hopefully you see some of the footage. We got some squats today. Uh, a little bit of bench and a little bit of fluff and puff.